normally people say the second season is the most difficult one in a coach uh, for for coaching. What do you think? Which difficulties are are, are, he are ahead of you? Wow, I never heard that. I know they have that uh, kind of the, the the rule for players. Kind of second year is always hard. Um, uh, haven't heard it with coaches, but every season brings uh, different different challenges. Uh, last year was new to the league, trying to get to know the teams and the players, and even my own players last year. Um, you never know what's ahead of us, eh? We'll see. You got two good transfers, Swiss transfers, with Joel Vermin and Sandro Zanker. What do you expect from them? Uh, Zanger seems to me a guy, and watching him last year in the playoffs, who's just a really good to the net player. He's a guy who goes to the net. He's he's hungry to score goals. He's got some grit. Uh, I'm still getting to know him as a player, as a person, uh, but he's also responsible defensively. So nice when you have a guy who can score, you can also trust defensively. That's really important. Uh, Joel Vermeen comes with a lot of experience. He's fast. He's skilled. Um, he plays a, a really beautiful, fluid game, but he also goes to the net and, you know, we We want a guy who's skilled but also wants to do the gritty things and he does that also. On the goalie position you have a new constellation, you have a new situation. You have two good goaltenders with Sandro Turkishin and Cristobal Hue. Do you think of a number one or do you think about job sharing? I think last year it was, you know, we clearly that if Cristo was healthy he was playing. Um, this year I think probably we'll split a little more. Um, making a declaration who your number one I think it's really useless because you know, guys can get injured, guys can have their performance dip. So we take everything day by day, including the goaltender situation. Last year, your big trench was uh, in the offense. What's about the new season? Do you have new tactics, be more balanced, or is the offense the way to go? Our defense wasn't bad last year. We, we didn't say, hey, let's play offense and forget about defense. We always tried to do both and, and with the basic idea that if we want to be a top team, we have to be really good defensively and really good offensively. I'd say what we're doing this year is reinforcing the good things from last year, and there was a lot of good things, but there was also some things we need to adjust or change even, and that comes to changes in uh, some, some tactics, some changes in how we prepare. There were some changes in players. There's be changes to maybe uh, the things we focus on in terms of our core values as a group and our identity and how we play. So we're not blowing up everything this year, but we're, we're certainly going to make some changes and hopefully the, they're smart changes and uh, hopefully um, the mix of keeping the good and uh, trying to improve is the right mix for us.